when I went to the art museum and I stopped in that room <clears throat> with the baby cage, the face, <coughs> excuse me, everything that I was doing was just, uh, it was just me pushing record, walking into the art museum with a soundtrack in the background, recording it on the X app. When I look back on the video I did, it's funny that I I stopped in at what was it four four five one one seven four five. I don't know if that was four minutes in. Yeah, four minutes, fifty one seconds. Four I forget what it was, but it was seven eleven backwards. That's when I stopped I stopped in. I, I, but I also stopped 20 seconds later, which lined up with a, another 7-11 in reverse combination. And the unusual thing about it is the first song I still haven't found when I'm looking for, it's like three or four minutes. Well, it was four minutes and 51 seconds, to be exact, when I... When it was completely over, and I went to the next song with the soundtrack in the art museum. And then that next song came on after a commercial ran its course. And that must have been, I don't know, at least 10 seconds. I, I didn't fast forward it. And then when I heard the song come on, I I started to see that as soon as he said as soon as he said going in to grab a pack of cigarettes I'm like this song ain't gonna go with the rest of the theme here so I fast forward it after 20 seconds and then I started to walk down the hall with another song but as it's talking about a pack of cigarettes in that actual song itself that has the alien baby face as I'm walking by the the see-through baby face in the art museum for the first time in my life with a with a soundtrack going live with commercials live the next song whatever it is that I'm picking I, I just pushed fast forward it was it's so basically what I did was I just went with AI with their recommendation because what they were recommending was something that was recorded before. And then on the next soundtrack from that one song that's completely skipped over to the next soundtrack, there's a pack of cigarettes, like pillars, on the on the on the album cover, the YouTube album cover, from the album cover of the Alien Blue Baby Face. And I know it's ridiculous to 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 think. I know I know what it sounds like. I know, but it doesn't matter any anymore what it sounds like to anybody. It's I'm here to record my life. That's all I'm doing. I'm recording my life and I'm distributing it out. And somehow, some way. These very, very, very unusual things that I don't even know if I can convince anybody just by showing you frame for frame detailed visual exact closeness of when me and my wife were walking into the art museum on her birthday on 3-23-2023 she doesn't even realize the birthday present she got because I'm not done yet I, I, it's like striking a gold mine and trying to uh, gather up enough barrels to 
to collect the liquid gold that's just gushing out and I and I and then on top of that having a, a job and doing just wasting my time doing other just straight wasting time it's it's agitating me because time is ticking it's ticking it's ticking and I have this information to get out But it's not very, uh, you know, when you got to wake, when you got to, when you have this drive and desire to show people the connections, it's like when I get home, uh, hurry up, get you, hurry up, try to get home. I, I haven't been putting in eight hour days because I need to get home and I need to show the, I need to collect the information. And on top of that, my computer has been slow. It's just straight, you know, stall tactic after stall tactic. When you put up, say you have 15 windows and you're ready to click on each one, one after another after another, as you're recording and without pausing, well, the computer, the laptop, after after five minutes of sitting still, each frame or each window, when you click on it, it goes back to its original, the beginning of the video. It spins for a couple seconds, and then it goes back to the original video. So all the time that I've been doing this with this computer, I've been stalled. I've been. It's just been. It's like I'm just being severely, truly, gang stalled. <laughs> But I deal with it. All right, it's frustrating as all hell. Okay, gotcha, Satan. The 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 demonic minions behind the scenes, or is it just because your computer's slow, Rob? You just need to get a new one. Well, that's my second laptop since I started the YouTube platform. Why do I need a comp a new computer every three years? So that's one way, and then because of that reason, I need the other computer, because the other computer doesn't do that, but uh, but that one didn't have the bandy cam recorder on there for more than 15 minutes, because I paid for the other one on the, on the other laptop, so I'm using that one. Needless to say, I went out and bought a new computer, a new computer, a computer itself, not a laptop. And um, and the reason why I was even dreading doing that is because I know I have to, I know that once I get it, I'm going to spend all day trying to figure, trying to get it set up, trying to uh, get back to the editing app, get a new one, something more efficient. And of course those things happen because it's not like well well you you dreamt it up Robin no I just know that this from the last times it's a process and it's just a, it's an irritating one when time is against you I hate time it's sickening time is sickening so I'm at work it's like now nah, I gotta get home I gotta, I gotta I'm doing all these time stamps and wasting some time even while I'm at work so I'll subtract a little bit of time from, from doing that. You get paid up. Oh, oh no, that your bank's that bank's closed all of a sudden early on Friday. <laughs> Here comes Robin to close turn the lights out. Hurry, hurry up. Alright, is he gone? Yeah, yeah, go. So today I'm spending at least another half hour just to go back to the bank because it was closed before the normal time yesterday, because it's time to pay the rent and it's Time to do all these things, and time just is not my friend. I'm sure it was just, you know, it's just the way it is sometimes when, uh, if I had a time stamp, I was paused for 25 minutes. Now, you know, sometimes I, I think, well, is it because I said it? I said something? 
out loud about being stalled. And as soon as I said that, literally, there's only one person in front of me. The lady's like, oh, I'll be with you in a moment. No, I'll be here. Five minutes goes by. She's staring at the computer. Ten minutes goes by. She's still staring at the computer. I go, okay. That's <laughs> Good morning, Satan. Hi. How are you? I oh, I'm I am well. I'm I have a lot of things to do today, but hey, take my time. No, no, don't worry. Take my time, Satan. I'm not gonna take my time. You take it. 15 minutes rolls around, the, the the printer got jammed up. I think it was a half hour total. It felt like a half, between 25 minutes and a half hour. The longest bank stay I've ever had in my life. Randomly enough, I just was talking about being stalled and that's what happened. So now, did I predict the future or, because am I just that damn good at predicting the future or is it because when I just say anything out loud, you guys just go with it? I think that may be what it is. I don't think I can predict anything, really. Besides the fact that I will be stalled at every given moment of every giving day. So there's three people. They're trying, they're looking. The guy comes out from the back, the woman from the side, the, the ladies there, and they go, and they're all surrounding the printer because the printer got jammed up <laughs> how convenient also and then so the, the kid is just standing around the five for, for like five minutes when he could just be doing something else like cashing checks and then then he turns to me with can i help you and he had the stupefied look like i am a gang stalker oh, oh turn around take his check it's now time to stall him he takes my checks, he goes in the back and disappears for at least 10 to 12 minutes. So after five minutes, I can already, I mean, I already know I'm being stalled, right? So after after five good minutes, I, I just pull up a chair and sit back and wait. Because what else can you do? When I hit the Powerball, what do you think they're gonna do? This is gonna be the same stall tactics. Uh, and then he came out and you know again I I believe that people lie to me all the time because if you say you're sorry but you were told to do it well then you're sorry that you took on the the job of being a gang stalker at your bank but then again isn't everybody <coughs> aren't we in the pit isn't this hell and did I not already die as a child? Yeah, I know my mom says she doesn't have any other children. Or she does have a, a large family, five kids. And I was watching this movie about a surrogate mother the other day, and I'm thinking, why would you be? Why would you want to get be a surrogate mother and, and give away your baby? And then, it, but then I thought, well, because no, there's there's people that they can do it for money. And they just look at it as, I'm just carrying something that's somebody else's. Uh, so anyway, but before that, 25 to 30 minute wait in Republic Bank, I give them an F for their uh, customer service, and they should all be fired. But if it was a legitimate thing where... Because this is what needs to happen. People need to start getting fired for listening to that that demonic uh, voice in their head that's telling them to do purposeful, ignorant things. Now, I understand what, <clears throat> what Satan's job is. Satan's job is to refine me from any bit of irritation of any sort of, of uh, impatience or anything. Thanks, Satan. I surely greatly appreciate it in the end, not not, not as I go through it. As I go through it, it's not so much fun. But again, you're, you're at the mercy of Satan and his world, and what are you going to do besides just suck it up? Man, I'm 
tell you what, I, I, I just have this keen sense of things. It's very unusual to go through. So uh, then I was thinking, considering the fact that I'll never get anybody to tell me the truth. Never. Uh, well, no, I won't say never, but at the moment, nobody's ever going to just outright come out and say, yeah, Rob, and I'm a gang stalker. Yep, yep, I, I hear my father in my ear. He tells me what to do all, all the time. It's when you're around, I, I try to get in your way. I just, you know, stall you. And, yep, that's me. I'm that person. So nobody's ever going to say that at this moment. And then when I look at my place of birth on record, Polk General Hospital, <coughs> the way that I know I'm on to something is when people like Stephen James Deshaun makes videos about Polk General Hospital and starts explaining stuff in Gematria when he's the head top Luciferian United States gang stalker commander in America. According to that lying ass website, that is. So when someone like that does that, and I am just Robin T's from nowhere, son of none, uh, none, my dad, none, uh, I don't even, do, do I have a dad or is a, am I a chip baby? Some things I believe what Steve says, others I don't, because I know he's talking to his flock that he's deceiving. And, but I make, I make ground on when I throw things out there, hot or cold, hit or miss, not lukewarm. That's how I've been getting answers for things. And then I go into the art museum and I, the second track is a, <clears throat> the baby head and the, the, the track on the YouTube track itself as I'm recording, just walking it with it. It's playing live. It shows the baby. I stopped in at 7-Eleven for a pack of cigarettes, which was the next frame on YouTube when I pushed fast forward after the commercial. Not really seeing what video is going to pop up. It just pops up. The baby has no brain inside of the, the screen. It's like fenced in. And... So I've wondered, I thought, well, I wonder if, you know, I, I, I'm not going to hold it against my mom for uh, wanting to live. So, but I thought, well, I don't know where I was from the age of four years and below. I have no idea. Don't remember. And I, I see these commercials, like the AI letting me know things and this one hit one kid he fell on his head cracked the skull and and I was thinking yesterday what if what if I already died as a baby already died remember on this earth it's appointed for men to die once because that would be so perfect because you know why that means I I don't die again it means I don't die not not in a way where you think I'm going to because <clears throat> here's what I think here's a uh, if anything it's a it's a it's a good sci-fi movie this four-year-old child wait no I'm sorry he was three because King Herod Ah, uh, yeah. What if, back in the day, King Herod, who was uh, in charge of Florida, he was looking to kill the children two years and under because he was looking for baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, who was born at the Elephant Lakeland Regional Medical Center, L, the Almighty God Football Stadium, the Elephant in the Room, he was born there, and then, because <clears throat> this is this, something's been something was going on in 1976. Something for sure was going on, 
and it seems like the age of 46 now that there is a bunch of 46 year olds you know acting as Jesus or whatever so in this movie slash reality true true actual dead on um, life story in Florida where the swamps being drained now Herod was in charge and he was looking to kill the children starting in 1976 two years and under all the children two years and under now what happened was when I was three years old or two two years and under means you can make it up until your second year and 364 days old you're still two years and under so what happened was at the age of almost three years old I was one of the the sacrificial children that died because Herod killed me and um and then once that happened the plan was to turn me into an AI chip robotic baby a robotoid <coughs> <clears throat> six leave the light on for you because if you notice that six is basically in my forehead and as I was talking about a robot toy chip baby driving by can't make this stuff up because I didn't so here I am at three years old just about and I was one of the children that were killed two years and under because Jesus he fled to Philadelphia he went up because he came from, what, Bethlehem and went up to Galilee. And Galilee is the area of gals, ga girls. Galilee, maybe even the daughters of men. And because Philadelphia is the cap, like the beginning, 1776, the Declaration of Independence, it all started in Philadelphia. The angel of the church of Philadelphia and uh, so, you know, this one person that did stay alive, he could have been my twin. Could have been my twin brother, sister. And <clears throat> because it's a twin system, I, I, I'm here in hell. It's where I, it's where I stayed because I died. And, um, and the plan was to you know, surgically pop my head off because I have like a <clears throat> have like a ring around my I mean, it's where my neck you know, moves around so it could just be a seam from mo my neck moving around so anyway, th what they did was they, they cut my head off they took my head off, they beheaded they took my brain out they put that brain in a jar over uh, up in heaven where I'm at but my chip is here. My my physical body is here and my chip is in my head. And I have no brain and I'm screened in, fenced in, like the baby in the art museum. Head, right there, the head. So, considering the fact that I already died as a child and now I'm a chip baby, I'm alive again, because what they did was they gave me breath. I There's nothing, look at it like this, there's nothing I can do, I died. I was sacrificed along with the other children in Bethlehem, I think it was, that were searched out by King Herod, killed two years, killed all the children two years and under. Except for my twin who fled, fled up to Philadelphia, because why else did I move up to Philadelphia after some time? And then, uh, <clears throat> and then, Jonathan Clegg is up here representing the Philadelphia landscape as baby Jesus. And then they, they're going to look at me as, as like Barabbas or something because I'm Bar Rob, Rob, Rabbis, Rab, Barabbas, right? Ain't that why Steve called me Rabin, Barabbin. And uh, so I rose up from the dead because they gave me life when I was a child. They popped my head off, sewed it back on, took my brain out, implanted with a chip. It's a no-brainer. It's just, it's so easy 
to conquer the world with a chip in your head. Because all, all my memories coming back to me in my with my brain being up in a that wherever it's at. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can get stalled again in this bank. <laughs> nah, I mean that was normal. My bank is usually normal. I don't usually get stalled too much there, even though it is police and fire, federal gang stalking unit. I mean a credit union. <laughs> police and fire, federal, federal gang stalking commander officer. Basically, time is time is a problem. Time is is an issue. Everybody races against it. They're always hurrying up because you know when you're at work <clears throat> and you're you're working hourly and there's real no motivation for anything besides you're just dragging your ass because you'd rather be somewhere else, like living your life, but you can't because. Well, we're in hell. So what do you expect, stupid? Who would have thought hell would look like this? You you envision hell as fire and brimstone and suffering and, and all that stuff. Well, yeah, this is still suffering to an extent. But you kind of have somewhat freedom if you made the right decisions in life and you 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 were raised properly and you were you had a drive and you knew what you wanted to do and you you went to school and you know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> then, but uh, so anyway, being risen from the dead, dying as a child. And then being able to prove that, like I can't actually prove it, but the ones that did the procedure, you know, in this movie, of course, they they know it's true, and then, so then therefore they can't crucify you, because you already rose from the dead. You already died as a child. You were already a child sacrifice. Because doesn't that make it easier? You don't really know what you're doing when you're three, three, two, three years old. Herod killed me already. I was, that's why Jesus is the one that, he's the one that gets taken out this time around. He's the one that has to, he's the one that is, that's sacrificed. The adult Jesus in the, in the script. Bank runs. All these bank runs. Just to just to pay money out. Take this piece of paper. Go over here. Hand this piece of paper to these people. They'll give you a diff they'll give you different colors of pieces of paper. Green and green pieces. Then you take those green pieces and bring it to another bank and deposit it into those into that account and then they give you a white piece of paper which is a it's proof that you exchange pieces of papers I can't wait until uh, I, I can't wait until all the money system is just distributed correctly pretty soon it looks like you're not gonna be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast and so the ones that were deceived, remember in the Bible it says those who have the mark of the beast were deceived. And isn't that the very elect, those who are sealed? Because if possible, the very elect shall be deceived, right? Well, the reason why the very elect is deceived is because I believe they were sealed up with they uh, they got the mark of the beast, the woman riding the beast, the holy place, the abomination of desolation, standing in the holy place, the being insurrected uh, with the 
filled with the Holy Spirit. But what they're really talking about, and you thought it, people thought it was like, no, the mark isn't literal in your forehead. It's not literal in your forehead. Or in your right hand. No, that's what they're talking about. You mean forehead and in your right hand? <laughs> no, nah, they were they were they were serious about that one. But the only thing is that that beast with the mark in his forehead or in your right hand <clears throat> already died. Already died. Literally died. And then also was spiritually crucified. Remember when Christ said, I'm going to die again? Or are they going to kill me again? And that was during his crucifixion. I wonder how, how that worked. How that worked out. How do you get how do you die twice? Well, I can see that you can die as a child. Like that YouTube cover, the album. When I went in the room 100. Or no, that wasn't 100. That was the other one. Uh, the, chi the the album with the ocean song on there. It's like the, the baddest, the meanest, well. The best soul art, uh, guitar solo. Ocean on the YouTube album. The baby, or not the baby, the child. I don't know how old he is, but he's just a kid. He's he's sitting back with a white. It looks like a couch, sorta, of, because his arms are stretched out, and then it, it looks like he has his hands behind his back. I mean, his neck, his head stretched out, but that's not that's not the case. He's actually on a cross. His arms are stretched out still. And he's, his head is like leaning on the back of something. And it looks like his arms are behind his head. And then that's the same exact image that when me and my wife walked into that room and I was showing you the couch. There it is. It's in a YouTube video. It's all in a YouTube video. Everything I did is in the YouTube video. It's... If you have the eyes to see, you'll see it's everything is about similarities. The way that the Masons talk, it's I'm not saying that's the case because but really when you say I'm not saying that's the case. If you just emphasize certain words and release like loose on some others, you'll come up with the true meaning when Jacob Israel says I'm not saying that's the case because what he's really saying is I'm not saying that that's the case like that's what it is it's the case we're just about there Derek Bros on his video just showed up he showed you the art museum I wonder if that represents Herod also the art museum the Philadelphia art museum and then down to Israel because you got Edom, Edomites, the Edomites. And then you got Israel, the Israelites. Like a light tower. William Penn standing on the light tower. It it actually does seem like the second 9-11 is going to happen now in Philadelphia. Sunday, tomorrow. Bloody Sunday. Tomorrow, today, tomorrow is going to be my sixth year on YouTube. I would sure be great if I can rest the next day. Yeah, Robin, you're going to rest because they're going to kill you. After you win the lottery tonight, <laughs> you are so done. You think you're going to win $147 million in the lottery. Ain't that something, how the lottery is, uh, is right over $144 million? Isn't it also something that I showed you last year on 2-2-2022 two, two, when I first started the the video going into the art museum on 3 2023 and I told my wife to hold this I said hold this what I was saying was hold this 
because I was scrolling through my phone and the video that the first video that popped up was you lose for me you lose for, for me you lose pay me 144 million dollars is what I had last year one hour from the drawing tonight one hour after the drawing is going to be my sixth year complete. Six complete years on YouTube. And then going into the seventh day. When I'm going into the seventh day, it's going to be Sunday. If it's a bloody Sunday, then that would also line up with it's a bloodbath in Philadelphia because that's going to kick start the 21 days because it's going to look like all hell is breaking loose which it will be Liberty 1, Liberty 2 are the towers twin towers that get hit 17th and JFK starts it off at the bank Chase Bank I, I think I get locked up on Tuesday or maybe it's Monday question, whatever, whatever you want to call it, locked up, say I'm going to do the rest of my life in jail and all that nonsense when I know it's, I'm getting right out. I'll be getting bailed out by Jonathan Cleck. And, um, and the William Penn building seems to be, I don't know, that might be the only building that lasts. I, but I don't know, that, that, that movie V for Vendetta has that building style look to it when time's up. Derek Brozier said time's up. He said once the dollar collapses and everybody's going to... Because remember, you guys thought that you're going to get a payoff. The ones that are doing this thing, like basically for free. Just the same way that I am. I'm doing it for free too. I, I feel like we're all doing it for free except for the only thing is... The ones on the other end have access to surveilling and doing all kinds of other stuff. And you got your holy place and you you have, you know, the abomination of desolation standing up in your holy place. It's the, uh, it's the mark of the beast. You have been deceived by the mark of the beast because the true mark is in my forehead. It's a chip. It's in my right hand. And I didn't even do any of it. This is just... I'm just telling my story. I'm pushing record and making it known that you're all deceived. Stephen James, he got you. You're not going to be able to buy or sell because I'm going to keep hitting the lottery at will and I'm going to drain the bank account. I'm going to drain the I'm going to drain the financial system. Because tonight's drawing is 147 million dollars. It's so it's right over 144 million dollars and I said hold this to my wife when I started the video at 3.30 the same exact time that that Bono video that YouTube video when they're doing their video up on the roof it's like a 7 minute video you got these people talking in the background about these two people doing talking and they're saying they're going to start at 3.30 and and I had that video up 144 million last year you lose pay me six years midnight will begin my seventh year going into Sunday a bloody Sunday bloody Sunday Everything in YouTube's videos, they're in my video. You can't see it, I can't help you. It's there. There's no question in my mind it's there, but then here's the thing. I'm gonna try my best to show some more today if I can get this app thing corrected, or the, uh, the editor thing for the new computer set up. That way I can be more efficient. For the next 365 days, it's going to be nothing but you two, you two, YouTube, YouTube videos, the art museum, the, the tour, the, 
the comparison, the screens, the frame by frame, the identical movements of shadows and shapes and shadows, twists and turns. Because what you, what the dragon did, which represents you two, Bono, the dragon, singing in the art museum, I caught it. Dragon gives me his power. But yeah, it's going to look like I'm the Antichrist. I'm going to come in. I'm going to be destroyed after three and a half years and all that. You know, whatever, whatever. The point is, I'm doing everything legitimately. And whatever, however it happens, it's going to happen. Because it already did. But it did because I made my decisions. And they recorded it. And somehow, I don't know how. Somehow, that entire video at the art museum was recorded by YouTube and they put it in different various videos that were done 40 years ago. So try to wrap that around your brain. Because I I have I'm trying to figure it out myself. What, what what's going on here? Am I in a bubble? Is my brain is my brain really up in heaven somewhere? In a but in a and it's like, is my brain controlling my body, my avatar, through this matrix? Through the chip that was installed? Like, my brain is communicating with my chip. My chip is connected to my body somehow, and I'm... In my, my brain, that's in a... It's in a, a... A bottle, or a... A, t a container. Glass jar is up in heaven controlling my body down here on, on in hell <laughs> through the chip that was inserted when Herod killed me when I was uh, like two years old and under. Yeah, they took my head off. It's a no-brainer. They took my brain out. I'm a beast. They gave me breath. They're going to say make an image. You're not going to be able to buy or sell because I'm taking all the money. I'm not taking it to be greedy with it and hoarding and I'm just taking it from everybody who thought they were going to get it. F you. Pay me.